The deep sea, Earth's final frontier, is a realm shrouded in darkness and mystery, where sunlight barely reaches anything and terrifying creatures dwell. This vast underwater expanse holds secrets that have puzzled scientists and explorers for centuries, with discoveries that often raise more questions than they answer. Join me, I'm counting down 15 unsolved mysteries of the deep sea. Starting with number 15, Bimini Road. The Bimini Road, also known as the Bimini Wall, is a strange underwater formation in the water near North Bimini Island in the Bahamas. It was discovered in 1968. It's made up of almost half a mile or three quarters of a kilometer long linear feature composed of rectangular limestone blocks. These massive stones are neatly laid out in a pattern that resemble a road, a pathway, or a wall, which has led to speculation about its origins and purpose. There are several theories about what it actually is. Some suggest it's a naturally occurring geological formation, a result of continual fracturing and erosion of bedrock. Scientists who support this theory point to the process of weathering and the natural tendency of limestone to fracture in straight lines as explanations for the road's appearance. And studies conducted by geologists have found that the blocks are composed of beach rock, which forms naturally in the shallow coastal waters of tropical regions. On the other hand, though, there are those who think the Bimini Road is anything but natural. The most famous theory is linked to the legend of Atlantis, mainly as a result of Edgar Cayce, a clairvoyant from the early 20th century predicting that evidence of the lost civilization of Atlantis would be found in 1968 near Bimini. The discovery of the Bimini Road that same year fueled speculation that it could be part of the fabled city, serving as either a harbor wall, a roadway, or an architectural structure of some significance. While most scientific investigations now lean toward natural geologic processes as the explanation for the formation of the Bimini Road, they aren't yet conclusive, and until they are, the origins of this structure will remain a mystery. Number 14. The SS Waratah The SS Waratah, often referred to as Australia's Titanic, has been a maritime mystery for over a century. Launched in 1908, the SS Waratah was a luxury steamship designed for the Blue Anchor Line to operate between Europe and Australia, and measuring at over 500 feet and weighing approximately 9,000 tons, it was built in Glasgow, Scotland, and celebrated for its size, speed, and safety features. And despite these guarantees, and similarly to the Titanic, the vessel's career was short-lived. On its second voyage from Adelaide, Australia to London, England via Cape Town and South Africa, the Waratah set sail with 211 passengers and crew on board in July 1909. After departing Durban for Cape Town, the ship vanished without a trace in the waters of the Indian Ocean. Despite extensive searches, no wreckage or debris was ever found, leaving the fate of the SS Waratah completely unknown. A number of theories have been proposed regarding the disappearances of the SS Waratah. Some suggest that the ship encountered a rogue wave or sudden storm, capsizing due to stability issues that were rumored to have been a concern even before its final voyage. Others have proposed a structural failure might have led to its rapid sinking, giving those on board no time to even send a distress signal. Over the years since, there's been several reported sightings of wreckage believed to be the Waratah, but none have been conclusively identified as belonging to the vessel. Even with expeditions using the latest technology to try to find it, we may never know for sure what happened to the SS Waratah, in a case that shows just how unpredictable and often perilous early 20th century sea travel was. Number 13. The Sargasso Sea we often look at the oceans of the world as large, continuous structures, but the more that they're researched, the more it becomes clear that within them there are further distinct regions, with one of the most mysterious being the Sargasso Sea. It's a region of the North Atlantic Ocean that's defined not by land boundaries but by ocean currents, surrounded by the Gulf Stream to the west, the North Atlantic Drift to the north, the Canary Current to the east, and the North Atlantic Equatorial Current to the south. This sea is distinctive for its still waters and vast growths of sargassum seaweed. Unlike any other sea, the Sargasso has no shores, and its borders are dynamic, shaped by the major ocean currents that surround it. It covers an area of approximately 2 million square miles, or over 5 million square kilometers. Named after the large quantities of that seaweed that floats on its surface, the Sargasso Sea plays a crucial role for life. This floating seaweed provides a unique habitat for marine species, offering shelter and breeding grounds, as well as a host of other marine life, including fish, sea turtles, and birds. The seaweed's dense mats form an ecosystem that supports a diverse range of organisms. 
The Sargasso Sea is also steeped in maritime stories. It's often associated with the Bermuda Triangle, where ships and airplanes are said to have disappeared under strange circumstances. Historical accounts describe vessels becoming trapped in its thick seaweed, unable to navigate through its dense mats. Quite how many ships were lost there isn't known, but beneath the thick layers on the surface, there's plenty of unsolved mysteries in those depths. Number 12. The White Shark Cafe The White Shark Cafe is a remote area in the Pacific Ocean, roughly halfway between Baja, California and Hawaii, that's gained significant attention from marine biologists because of something completely unexpected that happens there. The seemingly uninteresting region was named after researchers witnessed a strange pattern of behavior among great white sharks, who undertake a long migration to spend months at this specific location. Initially detected through satellite tagging programs, scientists noted that both male and female great white sharks from the coasts of California and Mexico would embark on this extensive journey to the cafe each year, and no one's entirely sure what exactly draws these apex predators here. The region does not seem to be plentiful in the typical prey of great whites, such as seals and sea lions, leading researchers to look for any other causes. Current theories suggest that this cafe may be an important site for feeding on deep water prey or perhaps a mating ground, although direct evidence of mating is yet to be discovered. The study and further understanding of the White Shark Cafe is therefore critical for understanding the life cycle, migration patterns, and conservation needs of great white sharks, as they face increasing threats from overfishing, habitat loss, and climate change. Insights gained from their behavior in this region can inform strategies for their protection and show how interconnected the oceans are and how we know just a tiny part about the life cycles of most marine animals. Number 11. The Milky Sea the Milky Sea phenomenon is a rare natural occurrence that's been observed in all the world's oceans, but most commonly in the Indian Ocean. This bizarre event manifests as a vast area of the sea glowing a ghostly milky white during the night, creating an ethereal landscape. The phenomenon can cover thousands of square miles, making it visible from space, and it's been recorded by satellites. But despite this vastness, it's only recently that investigations have begun to shed light on its causes. The leading explanation for this milky sea phenomenon involves bioluminescent bacteria, specifically a type known as Vibrio harvii. These bacteria emit light when in high concentrations, which is a behavior thought to be a form of communication or a means to attract fish, which then helps disperse the bacteria further. When conditions are right, such as in warm, nutrient-rich waters, these bacteria can multiply rapidly, creating conditions necessary for this milky sea effect. The glowing is triggered by mechanical stimulation, such as the movement of waves or a ship passing through, causing the bacteria to emit light. Even with this explanation, though, the Milky Sea phenomena retains an air of mystery. It is unpredictable, with occurrences being relatively rare and often in remote locations, making it difficult for researchers to study it directly. Advances in satellite technology and oceanography have improved the ability to detect and analyze these events from a distance, offering insights into their distribution, frequency, and environmental conditions. But with such little data available, the full means and mechanism of its development remain far from conclusive. Number 10. The Baltic Sea Anomaly the Baltic Sea Anomaly is a mysterious underwater object that was discovered in June of 2011 by the Ocean X Team, a group of Swedish treasure hunters. Located at the bottom of the northern Baltic Sea, this anomaly immediately gained attention around the world due to its unusual shape and features. The object, which lies at a depth of approximately 295 feet or 90 meters, was first detected using side-scan sonar, revealing an approximately 197-foot-long formation that some people think looks like a sunken UFO or an ancient architectural structure. Initial sonar images and subsequent underwater photographs and videos show a structure with an appearance reminiscent of a starship or other artificial object, featuring straight edges, right angles, and what appear to be corridors or walls. Adding to the mystery, the team reported malfunctions in their electronic equipment when close to the anomaly, though this could be due to a number of factors unrelated to the object itself. As it's not yet been possible to send a submersible to this site, there are many different theories to explain what it is. Some suggest it could be the remains of a World War II era vessel or a shipwreck or a natural geological formation or even a piece of architecture from a lost civilization. The most sensational claims are of course that it might be an alien spacecraft that crash-landed on the ocean floor. 
Geologists and oceanographers, though, have instead suggested that the anomaly is likely a natural formation, possibly a glacial deposit left behind during the Ice Age. This notion is supported by the fact that the Baltic Sea region was heavily glaciated, and the seafloor is known to contain various glacial features. The so-called corridors and angles may be the result of natural processes such as fracturing, erosion, or the deposition of materials over thousands of years. Despite these more down-to-earth explanations, the Baltic Sea anomaly continues to intrigue and spark debate among different people, and it's one mystery that will only be conclusively solved when direct exploration of the site is finally conducted. Number 9. The Disappearance of the USS Cyclops The disappearance of the USS Cyclops is another of the biggest mysteries in maritime history, and one that reminds us how unpredictable ocean travel can be. This huge naval collier, which was one of the largest ships of its time and designed to refuel at the U.S. fleet while at sea, was lost without a trace in March 1918 during a voyage from Barbados to Baltimore. It was a routine voyage, having left Rio de Janeiro in February 1918 to supply American forces in the Atlantic with much-needed fuel during the First World War. After a brief stop in Barbados to resupply on March 3rd, the ship set sail for Baltimore and was never seen again. No distress signals were sent and an extensive search found no wreckage, leaving the whereabouts of the Cyclops a complete mystery. Several theories have been put forward to explain the disappearance, with the most likely being that the structural failure might have been a cause, with earlier signs that the ship may have had a cracked cylinder and been overloaded. Others have suggested it could have been the result of enemy action, although there were no German submarine reports claiming the sinking of the Cyclops, and the area where it vanished was not known to be actively patrolled by U-boats at that time. Other theories range from suggestions of internal sabotage, mutiny, or even involvement in the Bermuda Triangle, but with no trace of the ship to work from, these ideas lack concrete evidence, and the exact cause of the Cyclops' disappearance remains unknown. What the loss of the USS Cyclops did do, though, was lead to changes in naval procedures and fueling to avoid similar occurrences. Despite advancements in technology and numerous attempts to relocate the wreckage, the ship's final resting place and the circumstances of its disappearance continue to elude discovery. And with such deep waters in the region where it went missing, we may never know what happened. Number 8. The Sounds of the Mariana Trench the Mariana Trench, which is the deepest part of the world's oceans, holds many mysteries. But the most bizarre of all are a series of sounds that have been recorded by scientists and researchers, originating from the depths of the trench, which plunges to more than 36,000 feet or almost 11,000 meters, have been variously described as moans, whistles, and roars, and remind us of just how little we know about the depths of the oceans and how much remains to be discovered. One of the most famous sounds is known as the bloop, a powerful ultra-low frequency sound detected by underwater microphones in 1997. While it initially sparked speculation about gigantic undiscovered sea creatures, further analysis suggested that the sound was consistent with ice quakes, large icebergs cracking and fracturing in Antarctica, many thousands of miles away. This explanation, however, doesn't cover the entirety of the mysterious sounds emanating from the ocean's depths, many of which originate closer to the Mariana Trench. Another sound, dubbed the Bioduck, has been recorded repeatedly in the Southern Ocean, but it's also heard in the depths of the Mariana Trench. Initially a mystery, researchers eventually attributed these low-frequency quacks to the vocalizations of Antarctic minke whales. This identification, though, does little to help explain other acoustic phenomena in the trench, such as the train and the Julia, which remain unexplained and are subject to ongoing research. The trench's unique environment makes it a hot spot for such mysteries. Its extreme pressure, darkness, and cold create conditions that are challenging for human exploration. Some of the sounds likely originate from deep-sea creatures, many of which remain unknown. Others may be the result of geological processes unique to the trench's complex geography and extreme conditions. It's one of the most complicated places to visit on Earth, and the investigation of these sounds involves advanced technology, including hydrophones capable of withstanding the trench's immense pressures. It's this remoteness, as well as the sounds that have been captured, that make the deep ocean one of the last uncharted frontiers on Earth. But with an increasing number of expeditions now taking place, we may well find out more within a few years. Moving on to number 7, the Yonaguni Monument. 
The Yonaguni Monument, which was discovered off the coast of Yonaguni, the southernmost of the Ryukyu Islands in Japan in 1985 by a local diver, is a submerged rock formation that's so unusual in shape that no one can be certain how it formed. This complex structure, which lies about 80 feet or 25 meters underwater, features terraced edges, right-angled formations, and what appear to be carved pathways and staircases, leading some to believe it's the remnants of an ancient submerged civilization. Those who are convinced that it's artificial point to features such as the twin megaliths that appear to be placed atop the formations, the straight walls and steps, and what some believe are carvings and engravings as evidence of human involvement. Supporters of this view often link the monument to the mythological lost continent of Mu, suggesting that it could have been part of a civilization before being submerged by rising sea levels at the end of the last ice age. However, many scientists and geologists counter these claims by suggesting that it's instead a natural formation. They argue that the sandstone and mudstone blocks which make up this monument naturally fracture in straight lines and right angles when subjected to tectonic activity. Those on both sides of the debate are sure that they're the right ones, though. And with restrictions on the removal of any material, it's not yet been possible to absolutely prove things one way or the other. In the meantime, the Yoniguni Monument continues to attract divers and researchers from around the world. And whether natural or man-made, it is a fascinating subject for study, offering insights into geological processes at work in our oceans and potentially into human history. Number 6. The Black Sea Underwater River the discovery of an underwater river in the Black Sea was one of the most significant recent findings in the field of oceanography. This remarkable structure, first identified in 2010, is essentially a river that flows along the seabed of the Black Sea, complete with banks, floodplains, and even waterfalls, much like a river on the land. This underwater river, formed by the dense saline water flowing from the Med into the Black Sea through the Bosphorus Strait, is easily one of the largest of its kind in the world. The river carves channels in the seabed as it flows, and its waters are significantly saltier and denser than the surrounding Black Sea water, causing it to sink and flow like a river within the sea. This unique feature stretches for hundreds of miles and can reach depths of more than 100 feet. It's estimated that the flow rate of this underwater river is 350 times greater than the River Thames in London, and it carries a significant amount of sediment into the deep parts of the Black Sea. Furthermore, the exploration of this underwater river has shed light on the unique environmental conditions of the Black Sea, which is known for its oxygen-free deep waters. The dense water of the underwater river contributes to the stratification of the Black Sea, maintaining its layers, which prevents organic matter and historical artifacts from decomposition. This has led to the preservation of ancient shipwrecks and archaeological sites, offering a unique window into past civilizations and trading routes. It has, though, raised the question of how common a feature like this is. If a river is present in this location, then there's no reason why there wouldn't be rivers running along the seabeds of the other large bodies of water, meaning we may just be at the beginning of a completely new understanding of how our oceans work. Number 5. Deep Sea Coral Reefs so there's a huge amount of concern surrounding the health of coral reefs around the world as a result of human activity. But recently, increasing numbers of deep sea reefs have been discovered, often in places where this was previously thought to be impossible, meaning there's still so much for us to learn about some of the most important ecosystems on the planet. Deep sea coral reefs thriving in the cold, dark depths of the ocean far beyond the reach of sunlight don't rely on photosynthetic algae for their energy like their shallower water counterparts. Instead, they obtain nutrients from the small particles floating in the water or the marine snow that descends from the upper layers of the ocean. This adaptation allows them to survive and grow in those depths where sunlight fails to penetrate, at depths ranging from 650 feet to well over 6,500 feet. The mystery surrounding deep sea coral reefs is more than just about their existence, though, as we don't know much about their age, diversity, and the unique ecosystems they support. Some deep sea corals are known to be thousands of years old, making them some of the oldest living organisms on the planet. But whether this is common or just scratching the surface of how ancient they are is yet to be revealed. They are also biodiversity hotspots, hosting a wide range of species that are yet to be fully understood or even discovered. The unique life associated with deep-sea coral reefs, including sponges, crustaceans, mollusks, and other invertebrates, often show remarkable adaptations to that environment, such as bioluminescence and specialized feeding mechanisms. What they do have in common with shallow water reefs, unfortunately, is that they face significant threats from human activities, including deep-sea trawling, mining, and climate change. 
And with the slow growth rates of deep sea corals, meaning that recovery from disturbances can take centuries, we may find that we've damaged them beyond repair before we've realized quite how important they really are. Number 4. The Vela Incident The Vela Incident, also known as the South Atlantic Flash, remains one of the biggest mysteries of the Cold War. On September 22, 1979, an American Vela satellite designed to detect nuclear explosions in compliance with the 1963 Partial Test Ban Treaty recorded a flash of light over the Indian Ocean near the Prince Edward Islands. This event triggered widespread speculation and investigation as it bore the hallmarks of a nuclear detonation. Yet no nation claimed responsibility, leading to a widespread debate and concern over nuclear proliferation and the enforcement of international treaties. The Vela satellites were part of a system intended to monitor for nuclear tests worldwide using optical sensors to detect that distinctive double flash of a nuclear explosion. The flash detected by the Vela satellite on that day in September closely matched this profile, suggesting that a nuclear test of approximately 2 to 3 kilotons. However, the absence of corroborating evidence from other monitoring systems and the initial inconclusiveness of physical evidence, such as radioactive fallout, complicated the interpretation of this data. The United States government launched an investigation into the incident, known as the Ruina Panel, which concluded that the flash was probably not from a nuclear detonation, suggesting that it might have been caused by a meteoroid or an anomaly in the satellite sensors. Despite this official stance, skepticism remained fueled by reports of unusual activity in the region and the presence of naval vessels from South Africa and Israel, leading to theories that the incident was a joint Israeli-South African nuclear test. The other possibility is that with the supposed event taking place in such a remote region, it could have been something else entirely different that originated within the ocean, something that's so rare that it hasn't been detected since. Decades later, the Vela incident remains unsolved, with classified documents and testimony still emerging, occasionally reigniting the speculation. The lack of definitive proof has allowed conspiracy theories to flourish alongside legitimate scientific inquiries into the nature of the flash. Was it a nuclear test or something different entirely? We'll probably never know. Number 3. The Sunken City of Dwarka The sunken city of Dwarka is often said to be the most significant archaeological finding in Indian history but at the same time raised as many questions as it answered. Dwarka, which translates to gateway to heaven in Sanskrit, is mentioned in ancient Hindu texts. According to these texts, Dwarka was a prosperous city that eventually submerged into the sea, and it was the discovery of the underwater ruins off the coast of modern-day Dwarka in Gujarat, India, that has led many to believe that these remains could be the legendary city itself, bridging the gap between mythology and historical fact. Excavations have revealed stone structures, pottery, beads, and other materials dating back to 4,000 years ago, and suggest it was a major city for a prolonged period of time. These explorations have mapped vast areas with geometric patterns suggesting planned urban development and have discovered artifacts that align with descriptions found in ancient texts. The identification of the underwater ruins with the mythological Dwarka is not without controversy, though. Some scholars argue that the evidence is not conclusive enough to definitively link the archaeological site to the Dwarka described in ancient scriptures, and they warn against directly connecting mythological stories with historical events without definitive evidence. The debate over the sunken city's origins and its connection to the Dwarka of lore continues. And while it's clear that it was once the site of an important civilization, it's still a complete mystery which civilization it was. Number 2. The Arctic Ocean Methane Craters There's much we still don't know about the depths of the oceans, and a relatively recent discovery has proven to be both mysterious and potentially a huge problem. Massive craters have been found in the Arctic Ocean floor, particularly within the Barents Sea, and at first it wasn't clear how they had formed. The craters, some of which are thousands of feet or hundreds of meters in diameter and up to 100 feet or 30 meters deep, are now believed to be the result of explosive releases of methane gas from the deposits beneath the sand. Methane is a potent greenhouse gas with a warming potential over 20 times greater than carbon dioxide. The Arctic region, now known for its vast stores of methane within the ice, is particularly sensitive to temperature changes, and as the Earth's climate warms, there's increasing concern that this methane will be released into the ocean and atmosphere, further accelerating global warming. The formation of the Arctic Ocean methane craters is thought to be linked to this, and it's been suggested that as ocean temperatures rise and permafrost thaws, methane gas that was previously trapped in the sediments is released. 
The pressure buildup from the gas can cause the seafloor to erupt, forming craters and releasing large quantities of methane directly into the ocean and potentially into the atmosphere. While it seems increasingly likely that this is the reason why the craters are formed, it remains a hypothesis that needs to be proven, and there may also be other causes. Even if they are caused directly by methane release, it's far from clear why it happens in such a destructive way and whether there's a way to reduce the impact of it happening. Needless to say, since their initial discovery, there's now increasing research in the Arctic to try to further understand these craters and how they may end up affecting us all. Number 1. The Tybee Island Collision the Tybee Island collision was a significant event during the Cold War era that shows the risks associated with the handling of nuclear weapons. This incident involved a mid-air collision between a United States Air Force B-47 Stratojet bomber and an F-86 Sabre fighter jet over the skies of Tybee Island near Savannah, Georgia on February 5, 1958. The event has gone down in history, not because of the crash itself, but because it led to the loss of a Mark 15 nuclear bomb which has never been recovered. The B-47 bomber on a simulated combat mission from Homestead Air Force Base in Florida was carrying a nuclear bomb, and while it wasn't primed for a nuclear detonation, it still contained a significant amount of conventional explosives and uranium, posing a substantial risk of contamination. Following the collision, the fighter jet pilot ejected safely, but the damaged B-47 faced a critical decision. Concerned about the safety of the bomb and the difficulty of landing it with it on board, the crew decided to jettison it into the waters off Tybee Island before safely landing their aircraft. The search for the lost bomb was extensive, involving both military and civilian resources, but it was never found, despite extensive efforts including detailed searches of the area in the months following the accident and several investigations over the decades. The exact location of the bomb remains a mystery, and there's probably now no chance of ever finding it. Beyond the security concerns of nuclear material being lost like that, there are serious environmental concerns too, and this incident led to a change in the safety protocols when handling weapons like them. Still, it remains one of three nuclear weapons that the U.S. is known to have lost in waters around the world, which now make up the most treacherous unsolved deep sea mystery of all. Thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you next time. Thank you to our channel members.